based on my web searches there are not many cars that meet all your criteria okay so it's now short list and looking at whatever is available out there my question was 6 seconds where you can see that this is 7.1 7.2 so it's also highlighting important part of the question itself right which is really helpful because me i am just looking for a bunch of recommendations so it's saying that these are the four cars so i don't want to go in details necessarily but it's giving me a high level perspective on what my search is and how can how i can get more results Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Only yesterday we discussed how Google announced their conversational AI bot called Bard, and we also went through a bunch of the examples that Bard will be able to do once it integrated in Google. One of the most important things that Bard comes in with today is the fact that it was able to draw the knowledge from the internet about the latest events happening, right? which was one of the limitations of chat gpt3 now there is an event that google is hosting on 8th february which is today primarily to talk about the search and ai and the rumors were that google will likely talk more about bard and primarily talk about how bard will be integrated in the search engine now the crazy part is a day before the event itself microsoft scheduled a special chat gpt event where they launched the new bing with chat gpt built in primarily chat gpt4 model in bing providing chat gpt like experience with the search engine now uh, one of the major things that you know to note here is that chat gpt bot was trained on the data that only covers to 2020 now bing's this version is far more up to date and can handle queries related to far more recent event this was one of the major fallbacks of what chat gpt3 had and this was one of the major points on why google's chatbot may have been a game changer so if you look at bing right bing itself seems to have a major update on the platform itself where you can see there is a new tab here called chat which is primarily where the gpt4 is implemented now before we go in the chat section i want to show you a footage from the launch itself which i found online so this is the launch footage that i found on linkedin let's just quickly take a look at this We've just updated Edge with a new uh, look and feel and new AI capabilities. As you can see here, it's sleeker, it's lighter, and you're going to notice now that we integrated Bing in a really cool new way. Let me show you. Here I am on the GAP website. I'm browsing. I'm in my new Edge browser, and I want to read uh, GAP's quarterly report. So I can navigate down to their earnings, click on Q3. And up comes a 15-page uh, GAP PDF. It's pretty long. I won't have time to read all that. What I'd love is a summary of the key points. I want to show you how now, with the power of Bing's AI capabilities within Edge, we can help. With one click, I can open up the sidebar. And now, as you can see at the top of the window, we have two features. We have Chat and Compose. Let me show you how Chat works. I can use Chat and Edge. To simply ask it to give me the key takeaways of the page I'm on. So I'll just say key takeaways from the page, and Bing and AI can now read that PDF. And look how great it comes up with the summary of the key points here: their earnings, the fact that it's going to reaffirm four-year guidance. Okay, so this was the launch announcement itself. There was this blog that talked about the benefits of using Bing at the new edge. Where it offers better search, complete answers, a new chat experience, a creative spark, new Microsoft ex Edge experience per se. So this uh, GPT-4 will not only be a part of search engine itself; it seems it will also be a part of the entire Microsoft Edge experience. Where in this uh, image itself, you can see that there is an extension on the top right, where you can use this. to not only uh, power your day to day searches on Bing, but also use this to write any content on the internet ai supported ai powered content on the internet and all of this will be powered by gpt4 you can see you can go through this blog itself but you know some of the technical breakthroughs mentioned here next generation of ai model microsoft prometheus model applying ai to core search engine etc etc so you can go ahead and take a look at this but i want to jump in the bing now and try this myself effectively if i log in bing Uh, Bing, you can see that there are a couple of sections. In order to enable the uh, chat experience, what you need to do is you need to go here in Labs, and you need to make this more frequent. That way, you will be able to, uh, you know, get the results in the GPT-4 results in the output. So, if I say ask, ask me anything.
Okay, so if I ask best places to visit in March, let's see. Looks like there are, I can see a bunch of places while these don't necessarily seem to be powered by ChatGPT. Let's just try and click on chat. So when you click here, right, you need to join the waitlist in order for you to experience this. You will need to be a part of the waitlist itself. But in order to kind of learn how the search engine will itself work, let's click here and see what what is it that we can do with the platform. So introducing the new Bing, ask me anything. So right, there are a bunch of things that you can you can find on this page itself. Let me kind of zoom out and see if I can get multiple things in. All right. So there is a create a three three uh, course menu. And you can see the prompt itself is by default added, right? So I need to throw a dinner party for six people who are vegetarian. Can you suggest me a three course menu? So let's try this, try it on Bing. And you can see on the right side, the entire response. So sure, I can suggest a three course menu with chocolate dessert. And the whole, it went ahead and it kind of created three major categories, right? So it created a starter. It created a main course and it created a desert for me. Now, you know, this changes the game when you think of it from the perspective of uh, search itself, right? So now I don't have to go in any of these results. The question itself is answered here. I don't know what this means uh, for the Google ads, etc., etc., or the Bing ads, but at least I was able to get the results here. And then what it also gives me is the bunch of, are the bunch of sources that I can refer to. And this also means that it's also crawling the latest results from the internet per se. If I click here, it tells me to kind of, uh, you know, join the waitlist per se. And similarly, if I click here, it'll let me join the waitlist. Let's try some other example, right? So I'm planning a trip for our anniversary in September. What are some places we can go within a three hour flight from London Heathrow? Okay, what are, help plan my special anniversary trip. So what art ideas can I do with my kid, right? Arts and crafts ideas with instructions for a toddler using cardboard boxes. Let's try this, seems a little more creative from that standpoint. Let's just close this and let's see. So you can see it's, it's went ahead and generated some really creative ideas with respect to, you can make a card box, cardboard get box guitar, plastic bottle bird feeder, plastic bottle flowers, et cetera, et cetera. So, you can find the instructions. It, it also went ahead and gave me kind of the summary and the place where I can find more instructions in order to achieve it. Now, I don't know where, how these sources are shortlisted, right? Regardless, this could also be one of the, uh, you know, if I look at this. Okay, so the first one looks like it's coming from here. And then this says seven. So does this mean it's taking the seven, like seventh link? Anyways, so the idea is that this could also mean an opportunity where if you be a part, if you are a part of one of these uh, URLs, right, you also will have a higher CTR um, compared to when you are, say, on the top 10 or top 8 here. Now, let's look at one more uh, sample here. Help me get fit. Plan me a workout for abs, arms and abs with no sit-ups and no gym equipment. It should only take 30 minutes. Let's do this. Okay. Looks like, okay. Let's do this and... Sure, I can help you with that based on a web search. Okay, so warm, warm up for five minutes with uh, some light cardio such as jogging, skipping, jumping jacks, do three sets. So you can see that it's still typing, but uh, the fact that it is able to uh, generate responses or summarize, so it will obviously reduce the click through rate when it comes to you know clicking on the content here, but it it will help if you are getting highlighted here, right? It's still going on though, right? So, but you, you get the idea, right? So this, um, and I, I'm assuming that Google will come out with something similar, but the fact that Microsoft moved at this before Google will pop, probably give it some advantage. And I think this also, you know, place Microsoft in a bit of disadvantage because now Google knows uh, what to expect here, right? So it can maybe add some more you know, some more functionalities to the search engine itself in order to make it better than this. Let's try, help me find a pet, F find me a music festival, help me create a trivia quiz. I need a big fast car. So 
what cars should I consider buying that are AWD Go 0 to 16 six seconds? Let's try this. Okay, that's a very specific question based on my web searches. There are not many cars that meet all your criteria. Okay, so it's now shortlisting, looking at whatever is available out there, right? And then based on what it, you know, shortlists or find online, it'll go ahead and so I recommend those to you, right? So my question was six seconds, but you can see that this is 7.1, 7.2. So it's also highlighting uh, the important part of the question itself, right? Which is really helpful because for me, I'm just looking for a bunch of recommendations. So it's saying that these are the four cards. So I don't want to go in details necessarily, but it's giving me a high level perspective on what my search is and how, can, how I can get more results or how I can get more inputs on what I'm looking for. Let's try one final one. Uh, let's try, can you help me write a story? Write a story for children about a dog who lives on the moon, right? So let's try this. Okay, so this is different than what I had. This is how the chat feature will look like. Um, that was a very special dog. She was born on the moon where her parents were part of the team of astronauts, etc. So you can see it's still going on. In my opinion, this is pretty, pretty powerful because one major drawback, right, of chat GPT-3 versus the BARD, which is Google's conversational AI chatbot, was the fact that it was updated to the most recent information out there in the market, which GPT-4 is fulfilling, right? So obviously Microsoft right now has upper hand when it, especially when it comes to uh, entering the product first in the market. So now if Microsoft is able to keep, keep up the experience with Bing right, right now, I think the short term user acquisition plan for the team is figured out. And it, you know, that's obviously going to be more happening uh, in the coming days. And I'm really excited for how it turns out. Regardless of what happens, it's going to be good for us because uh, these giants are always going to be one upping each other. And effectively, this will mean more innovation, more products coming out in the market and better rates uh, uh, for the product overall in the market itself. But I think this is going to be it for the video itself. If you like the video, consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on this video, share this across with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.